I don't know what it is about me that attracts weird and uncomfortable situations, but it happens everywhere I go no matter what. Have I ever had to wax poop? The answer is... Um, I was literally so shocked because I never expected, like, to see... This position's really getting to me. This man says... What's the craziest thing that's ever happened to you? Oh, no. I just want to let you guys know, adults only, for this video, if you have your kids, they may want to um, step out of the room at this time. Let's get into it. I had a client. Mm -hmm. I'm doing her Brazilian. Oh, gosh. God. Y'all steady be pissing me off. She goes, and I have her. Girl. That position. Oh. And while I'm in that position, I'm like this close. I'm this this close to the brown eye and when i'm this close oh no she decides that it would be a good time to go her back door whispered at me i was like did you get pink eye and she's like oh my god i'm so sorry i up my fiber and i don't know what's happening to my intestines but sometimes i just gotta let it go and i don't know when it's gonna be and this position's really getting to me You couldn't have said that when you got in that position? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, you know when you got Ooh. the grumbles, right? Like, I know when I have the grumbles. But why would you wait till I'm, like, staring at it? Why? Why? I got so mad. I was like, you know what? It's fine. I hope she never comes back. I ain't oh never seen that days. lady before, and I hope I never see her again. And I never really ever wish that, but, like, that's just disrespectful. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's just rude. That is so wild to me because when you take a lot of fiber and then you're tooting all the time, why would you go get a wax and not at least warn the person? And then when she said, the waxer said, the position, I feel like that is toot position. <laughs> I'm not trying to fully side with the customer here, but I've known people who tooted and they did not feel it coming. It's like a toot and they get shocked as much as the entire room gets shocked. And you're just looking at that person like, you really didn't feel that? No, it literally came out of no. It came from where the sun doesn't shine and they just didn't feel it coming. But for her to not be a regular and you already tooting and hooting in people's faces. I'm not gonna lie, I'm sure that lady we watched is professional to her levels, but I feel like the customer didn't come back because of her reaction and I don't blame her. That is why I am never gonna be in a profession like that because y'all have seen it for yourselves. If my mouth doesn't say it, my face will definitely say it. Now I can play a poker face for the most part, but when things catch me completely off guard, you're gonna get a lot of stares from me. And I'll tell you it's okay, but you're looking at my face and I'm like, Ooh. Okay, so last week mm -hmm. I accidentally waxed my vagina flaps together. Girl. Um, it took me an hour to get the wax off my flaps. You didn't ask And my vagina hole was closed for an hour and I was in agony. Well, it turns out today I did not learn my lesson. Mm -hmm. I decided to give my mustache a wax and I've accidentally ripped off a layer of skin on oh. the top. And I'm going to get a scab there. It just feel before like my burn. honeymoon. I'm actually feeling so distressed about this because I was hoping to pull on my honeymoon. I was hoping to meet some nice men on my honeymoon and pull. But um, what? the only thing I'm pulling is my vagina flaps. <laughs> Literally don't know how I can get any worse luck. Like, not only did I wax my own vagina shut, I got stood up at the altar and then just up oil for a bottle of piss all over my wedding dress. And then I'm going on my honeymoon on my own with very sore upper lips and bottom lips. <laughs> sorry okay so initially i thought she was going to her honeymoon to pull some men by the pool but i was like well it's a honeymoon so where's your husband but you got stood up you're going to the honeymoon by yourself your front and your face front is burning from the strips you sealed down there shut y'all let me know how y'all feel about the story time have i ever had to wax poop the answer is yes yep <laughs> There are people that come with poop. Mm -mm. Um, and <laughs> it doesn't happen very often. And I've been doing this for about eight years. And it's probably happened like five times. I think five times in eight years isn't bad. But I will tell you that I always 
you know, cleanse everything. If you have poop in your butt, I will not clean it. It will not get waxed. Yeah. If there is poop, you will still have hair there. I will wax around it, but I'm not really going to clean it up. But I will never, ever mention it to you. I will never say anything. You're going to smell it. I don't want to embarrass you. And, you know, it happens. It's mostly just, you know, people don't wipe as well or they come straight from work. But it's happened. There, it, It's happened. <laughs> When I did the waxing horror stories some months ago, I can't remember. I got a lot of hate for saying what I'm about to say. And I'm going to say it again. If you are an able body and your nose works perfectly fine, there is no way you're telling me you can't smell yourself. You don't check yourself. Especially if you're going to get a service done that involves spreading your you know what for the person to wax. At least be clean. Wet wipes, bidet, something, shower, bath. There's no way. As a grown adult, you need to clean yourself, especially if you're going to be around people for one. How do you go into a waxing area with a bum bum that's full of doo-doo? Now you're waddling like a penguin with doo-doo butt. And yeah, you may have had a rough day at work, but are you sure you want to get that doo-doo butt to somebody else to experience a rougher day? Story time oh, on gosh. why I'm thinking about not doing men anymore. So I've never had a problem with gay men, straight men, waxing them, nothing. Mm -hmm. Even if circumstances happen during the wax, nothing oh, gosh. weird, okay? So today... Oh no. I get a text message. I don't saying, like how that hey, started. I'm looking to do a Brazilian, blah, blah, blah. Don't know if it's a guy or girl. Mm -hmm. So he ends up coming out saying, like, Do you do guys? And I was like, Yeah, I do guys. He's like, Awesome. I want to do it today. I've never done anything like this before. I'm excited. Excited. <laughs> Boom. We're talking about when he's going to come today. Um, I said, like, 12 30, 1 o'clock. He was like, You don't have nothing um, closer? No, sir. Hmm. So here's when it starts getting weird. Oh, gosh. He asked me, you know, if things can happen, if when I'm waxing men, you know, you know what I'm talking yeah, yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, things can happen mm -hmm. when you're waxing a guy. It's normal. Mm -hmm. It's okay. This man says, oh, good. Um, I'll give you a big tip if I do that. <sighs> Excuse me? Oh, it gets better. Gets better. Well, I'm like kind of, kind of playing it cool. Like, okay, yeah, sure. Like it happens. Okay, cool. I was just like, hello. Okay, when do you want to come? So we ended up finding out when he's gonna come or whatnot. Then he's like, can you send me a picture? Huh? A picture of what, sir? Mm -mm. A picture Cancel of what? Cancel the appointment. Cancel it. I had to proceed and ask him, how did you find me? Yeah. On Google Maps. Okay, you found me on Google Maps. I had to tell him, you're making me feel very uncomfortable. He was like, I'm so sorry. I, this, I've just never done this before. I'm just so excited no. about it. Mm -mm. I told him, there's a European wax center right across the street that is close to you, just as close as I am to you. Have a great day. Good. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do men anymore. There's always that one person that ruins it for everybody. You remember when the entire class would get in trouble just because of one person? And now she's not going to wax men probably because of this one guy. And I bet you two burgers. <laughs> That's such a big bag bet. I bet you two hamburgers that it wasn't his first time and it's not going to be his last time. For you to say, is there a time earlier? I'm really excited for this. Who says that? when they've never had it done. I've never had it done. And I would not be texting my wax lady that I am excited for it. That's just odd. If anything, I'd be nervous, I'd be scared, and I'd be a little uncomfortable, but I'm okay getting it done. That would just be my feelings. I don't think I'm ever gonna get it done. Yeah, one time you and my best friend, we was waxing. Bad well, idea. I was waxing her. Nope. Cause she had waxed me before that. Mm -hmm. And you know, I was waxing her. It was my turn. We got the homemade machine, whatever. Oh, we was waxing each other. So I'm waxing her, waxing her. Mm -hmm. And I push, lash it back a lot. I ripped the thing open. And literally her skin was attached to the, to the rip. I was literally so shocked because I never expected like to see skin on it. Like I pulled it and you literally see the girl's skin in her vagina is just looking back at us skinless. Like, 
I'm Sezi. I'm Sezi. It's I'm wrong. so top. Literally, ever since then, I've never had self home waxing. I always go to the professionals to do it because, yeah. like, that was a crazy experience. Like, yeah, we was laughing about it, but it was. I was like, girl, this is your skin on this. Like, this is legit your skin. Like, no joke. Your your pull is on the the wish. And so did actually, yeah. Are you serious? Mm. But I've been saying to me, traumatized, traumatized. If you have ever waxed your best friend, raise your hand in the comment section. <laughs> I've never done it, but you live and you learn. It could have been worse. I'm not gonna say exactly what I'm thinking, but it could have been worse. As a waxer, oh I get a lot of questions pertaining to my job, but I bet. one of the most asked questions that I frequently get is, Julie, what's the craziest thing that's ever happened to you? And as some yeah. of you know, I do have a lot of guests that follow me on here. I used to work for a big franchise corporate European Waxing Wax place. Center? Is that it? And if you don't know what it is, I'm pretty sure you can put the pieces together because honestly, there's only a few wax chains. Everybody talks about EWC. So, one day, this girl books an appointment. She's the very last appointment of the day. We know who she is. She has came in before mm -hmm. and let's just say she doesn't have proper body hygiene. And yes, I know as a waxer, we come in to, you know, like there is an odor. Like we all know that as yeah. waxers. But that's not the point because that doesn't bother us it's more of the fact that you're not taking care of yourself and i'm just gonna say it, she had an std so in the past okay. she's came in to get waxed and one girl that was a waxer was performing the waxing service literally had to leave the room because she was gonna throw up and somebody had to come in and finish the service comes to the end Ooh. of night she's late she walks in and she goes yeah. okay i have an appointment and she has no Ooh. shoes on first of all and then also this girl it's like, I have a Ooh. appointment tonight. So for me, I'm like, I'm not waxing her, so I don't really care. I'm just gonna finish up my closing duties. The waxer takes her in the back to get waxed. And this girl starts going like off because <clears throat> the waxer kind of gave her like the spiel of, hey, we can't wax you today just because it does look like there's gonna be a little bit of irritation. I want you to come back with a doctor's note. She starts going off calling us racist she's like i don't understand what the de what the problem is every time i come in here there's always an issue but i go to other places and i can get waxed perfectly fine blah 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 and i'm like and you can hear it because we're all just like sitting over there and we're like what the hell is going on so what happens so when the you waxer to walks somebody. out and we're kind of trying to like find a solution so i was like i'm gonna go in there and i'll just tell her i'm from corporate <sighs> complete lie so I walk in there and I'm like, hi, I'm Julie. I'm a corporate waxer. I'm here for training. Is there anything I can help you with? I, I, I heard there was an issue going on and she starts telling me like, you guys are racist. You guys won't wax me. You guys are racist, ma'am. Respectfully, you have an odor. This has nothing to do with race. You're smelly and you need the help. You try to help people and they don't want to help themselves. And people in the comment section will come up with every excuse to support somebody that has a bad odor that should be seeing a doctor. You can smell what I can smell if both your nostrils work or even one. You don't need both. If one of your nostrils works, you can smell the BS coming from within you. See a doctor, seek help. And I mean that with the most love that you could ever think of. You may call it tough love, but that's on you. What I'm telling you is you need to go see a doctor. And for all the other waxing places, see, this is why you can't, this is why I don't, this is why we can't have nice things. Imagine yourself going to a wax place that wax somebody that has either an STD, an STI, and who knows if they accept somebody who has these things, if they even sanitize the area. So now here you go, up and happy, sitting in the same freaking bed, getting a wax. I don't know what it is about me that attracts weird and uncomfortable situations, but it oh. happens everywhere I go, no matter what. <laughs> so a few years it. back, I was living in London and I went to this new place to get a Brazilian wax. So mm -hmm. I go to this place and I meet the girl that's gonna do my Brazilian. She looked nice enough. So then we go and we get started. Get on the table. I'm in the butterfly position. She starts waxing me. So mm -hmm. far, so good, nothing weird. At some point, the wax started getting hotter and hotter. And Ooh. I was like, this is really hot. So instead of lowering the temperature, she, this is in 2021. So we were all still wearing masks. Yeah. She takes her mask down, 
lowers her head and starts blowing in my hoo-ha. <laughs> I'm just sitting there, Cut looking the show. up, looking at her. I don't know how to react to this. I've never been confronted with something like this before. So I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna say anything. Maybe this was like a one-off. We finished the front and then we switched to the back. Now this area is even more sensitive. So she starts putting oh. the wax in between the cheeks. Mm -mm. I can't help myself but react like, that's really hot. To which she Lower takes the her mask again. And this time I'm watching and I'm ready for it. She takes her mask down and is like moving her head to start blowing in my bum hole. And I literally go like, no, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. I can, you know what? I will take the heat yes. of the wax over this. We didn't speak of it afterwards. She didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. It was kind of like a, this just happened. Finished the waxing, gave her a nice tip. Um, went home and stood there in silence for a while until my husband got home. And I was like, so something strange happened today. How did she you was like, that doesn't that happen, usually though? happen? Like, no, no, nobody goes and blows there. Nobody takes their mask off <laughs> to start blowing there. Maybe it's like a British thing. You know, maybe it's the fact that it was in England. Nah, I got so many it was more her. of these stories, you guys. Nah, don't come for the Brits. It was that lady who blows on somebody's hoo-ha getting a professional service done i'm just trying to picture this lady in the butterfly position and she's just like <gasps> what ma'am back up actually scoot over let me wax myself <laughs> i'll give you an extra tip to leave me alone lower that temperature i'll do it myself <laughs> i know this isn't supposed to be funny but imagine you just leave the wax there and you're just walking away like this. You're just like, all right, thank you for the services. I'll see you never. Hello, front desk. The lady just blew on my hoo-ha. I'll see you next time. Never. That is insane. And I had to be bent over like that because I don't feel like lifting up my camera. I'm too tall. Can y'all guess how tall I am? <laughs> We're going to play a little game. If you can guess how tall I am, I'm going to put a chocolate chip emoji under your comment and if you just get a like and a heart from me that means your answer was wrong we're only gonna play it for the remainder of today so don't go cheating and looking at other people's comments comment first before you scroll down to see the answer of somebody else's oh this is gonna be good story time okay so a client of mine she's a regular mm -hmm. she walked in the door and she was like i have a question oh, no. and i was like yeah and she's like ah, i'm on my period mm. and i'm like Okay, well, as long as you have a tampon, yep. and she goes, "Do you have one for me? Because I don't, I don't like wearing them. I, I don't like wearing them." I hope she cleans so the area before she puts the tampon in. She wears pads. Both of them are uncomfortable. I get it, but you know, I didn't know how much. What? Like she doesn't like them, uh -oh. or how often she's not wearing them, or whatever. Or if she's wearing so them at all. One. She goes into the bathroom. She comes out, and she's like. <laughs> you know kind of walking all step and she's like god i hate these things and i'm like yep i get it so in my mind i'm like it's probably not in all the way you're gonna shove it i the hope you don't know what i'm talking about she gets down here she's laying down you know i'm waxing the top half of her but as i get lower down um i can see the string just working around the string you know whatever well so I'm getting in there because mm -hmm. there's hair in there and I'm like <laughs> holding her leg mm -hmm. or like her lip open, holding her lip open and I'm putting the wax and I'm like, lady, <laughs> what is it? You stuff the plastic in there. <laughs> like the, the wrapping or the actual plastic on the... Oh. So I'm like, um, so I whip around and I'm like, what in the, and she's like, that's why it's uncomfortable. <laughs> and I'm like, uh. <laughs> she's like, I swear I took the plastic out. And I'm like, how, she's like, I threw plastic away in the garbage can. Well, then I had to like, I guess it's just so... You know, once you know how to use them, you know how to use them. But she, when she put it in, uh -huh. she didn't push the the applicator bottom applicator <laughs> in to the top applicator. 
so that the cotton pushes all the way up or the tampon pushes all the way up. She just stuck it in and then <laughs> kept the plastic and the cotton and then just pulled out the bottom <sighs> applicator. Oh gosh. <clears throat> Can't make this up. So then when I was done waxing, I, like, I was like, please tell me what happened here. So she got done. She goes, yep, you're right. Plastic was in there. Being a waxer at this point, I'm convinced that it is quite literally a crap show. Now, I don't wear them TMI, but I know how to use them. And if I truly didn't know how to use them, I'm assuming this was a grown adult. She should have just A, went on her phone and looked up how to use a tampon or B, just ask her. I'm just gonna start this by forewarning all the men in my family. That's oh, dad, gosh. granddad, brother, any aunt, uncles. Just, this isn't the, the one, all right? So, oh, oh. <laughs> Girls, I went for an appointment today. So I did, and uh, I tried something that I've never tried before. Oh, gosh. I'm usually right, we'll get, we'll tidy the sides. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this time I thought, I really wanna try a free Brazil now. All right, I rang on my lunch break. I says, do you want to hang free later this evening for a food Brazilian? And I was like, well, do you surely? I said, great, get me in there because if I put this off much longer, I won't do it. Me. I want to experiment. I'm getting married. We're going on honeymoon. And I don't want it looking like there's a gorilla playing peek a out of my bathing suit <laughs> while I'm at the side of the pool. Because she, I feel like I've been reborn. I wish I could do it before and after. But alas, that's not. <laughs> She had me in positions I don't ever think, I didn't think I could get into. She's seen bits of me that I don't even think I've seen. At one point there, I thought, well, Jesus, she's turning this into a two-woman sticky thicky show. Oh, gosh. She had me stretched that wide apart. At one point, I thought, well, this is it. I'm not getting up from this. <laughs> she was doing full Brazilian and then giving it some. She was doing full Brazilian, American, Canadian. She was flying the flag to all the nations. But let me tell you something, that woman has not missed a her. <laughs> not one, no, not one. I've, ch I've checked. But I, yeah. It was a very intimate experience. I would recommend a friend, but be prepared. Yeah. Right? I feel like a new woman. It's like I wanna like, I wanna let people know, you know? Working. No, not people know. But, um, obviously, you know, TMI. Ciao. On that note, if you guys want to share, only if you want to share your Brazilian horror stories, leave them down in the comment section below. I'll see you guys next time.